Hello, dear students. Let's continue your work on Sus Mind MOOC. Today, we are talking about ecological economics as a foundation for sustainable mindset. This part of the course was developed by Professor Lyudmila Maksimil, Professor Igor Solovey, and me from Ukrainian National Forest University in Lviv. Today, we are going to talk about such question, essence of ecological economics, features of ecological economics, and system thinking within ecological economics. So, what is the essence of ecological economics? We can have here several visions. For example, the first one is that ecological economics is a new training course which provides some competencies for students and satisfies their need in soft skills. The second aspect is a way of economic activity, responsible economic activity, eco-innovative economic activity. And the third part is a realm of scientific research when we are doing research to promote environmentally friendly way of economic activity. Learning objectives of the course Ecological Economics are the first one is to analyze relationship between economic activity and the environment. To demonstrate an understanding of the problem of resource scarcity and its implications for sustainable development. To identify the critical role of economics in resolving environmental issues. The next one is critically address the difference between mainstream economic and ecological and demonstrate presentation and discussion skills as relevant to solutions based on ecological economics principles. Several definitions in the perspective of ecological economics. The first one is echo. This root of the word for the port comes from Greek oiko. That means household. So ecological economics studies the relationship between the human household and the household of nature. What flows across the boundary of and those of household and now how does the economy fit within the larger biosphere and, more important, how it fails to fit and how does it fit badly and what can be done to correct the situation. The second question is features of ecological economics compared to mainstream so, the so first of all, I would start from growth and development, vision of growth and development. Ecological economists have distinguished growth from development. And growth, according to ecological economists, is quantitative increase in size by assimilation of snack. Development is a qualitative improvement in design, technology, or ethical practice. Ecological economists advocate development without growth, like qualitative improvement without quantitative increase in resource throughput beyond ecological sustainable game. The second feature 
of ecological economics we are going to discuss here is recognition of constraints to economic growth. Mainstream economics postulates that economic growth can last forever. Ecological economists say that there are fundamental, objective constraints to economic growth. And to present it, to illustrate this feature, ecological economists use such graphical representation. Ecological economist Herman Daly and Joshua Farley proposed such graphical illustration of this concept of empty world and full world. So, this, they suppose that in empty world, econo economic system or main might capital was much smaller comparing to the global ecosystem. So, altogether, we, they, they, uh, people produce a lot of goods, services, and the global ecosystem was able to produce a lot of ecosystem. Now, situation has been changed, and we live in a paradigm of full war. It means that our economic system is much larger, it's much larger, it produces a lot of goods and services, but in the same time, the flow of ecosystem services is much smaller. And um, this is very important for decision-making with an ecological economic part. The third aspect we would like to mention here is interdisciplinarity. It means that Ecological economics as interdisciplinary science use comp uh, instruments and concepts from different sciences, for example, from psychology, from ecology, from physics, sociology, etc. Ecological economics put, put strong focus on ethic and human values, life social justice, gender equality, reciprocity from with nature, as well as cultural, spiritual, philosophical background. So this is important, this focus on social, social aspects. Even now we have a new branch in ecological economics, so-called social ecological economics, which is described by Spesh in his so ecological economics we can, can be considered like a mean for achieving sustainability. Costanza in uh, 1992, his work, he wrote that ecological economics could be a science and management for sustainability. The third question we are going to cover in this very short uh, brief a video is system thinking. Essence and example. So we start from definition of a system. System can be considered like a set of instrument elements in relations and connections with each other, which forms a certain integrity. Usually a system has sub several subsystems. And here we can uh, quote Aristotle, who said that the whole, if we are talking about system, the whole is a greater than the sum of its part. So, together, we can do more than we can do separately. The second aspect is system thinking. It's a vision and understanding of a product or a system as a part of a larger system, 
which interacts with other substances. So the system cannot be stronger than its weakest element. And what is important for us when we are going to discuss about ecological economics is uh, system hierarchy. Hierarchy of systems in ecological economics. It could be represented like this. We have nature, the global ecosystem. Within this global ecosystem, society, humans arise and continue their work. So economy is a subsystem, economic system is a subsystem of social system, a subsystem which is in turn integrated into the global ecosystem. So we have this hierarchy, but this hierarchy presented in book by Farley and uh, Daly and Erickson in 2005, it is represented like a harmonic phenomena. But, of course, between these subsystems there is some conflicts. And so that to illustrate real relationships between economic social and ecological systems, we use another representation which is described on this far slide. So, it, so, there is a global ecosystem. It provides natural resources and absorbs residuals of economic activity, human activity, so it sustains and enables enables human life and activity. Economic system uses natural resources to produce goods and services, to, pro to satisfy our wants and needs, and the shape of economic, the trend of economic system is always to grow, and it could grow to such a scale when it can destroy the global ecosystem. So we need societal subsystem <coughs> which will control, monitor, improve, correct way of economic activity, way of economic eco economic system functioning. So we should develop special rules, norms, re religion, beliefs, values to drive our economic growth in a sustainable. With this presentation of the conceptual ecology model of ecological economics, we finalize the first part of the theme. Let's sum it up. Ecological economics studies the relationship between the human household and the household of nature. It advocates development like qualitative improvement without quantitative increase in resource throughput beyond an ecologically sustainable scale. It puts a strong focus on ethic and human values like social justice, gender equality, reciprocity with nature, as well as cultural, spiritual and philosophical backgrounds. It sees the economic system as a subsystem of social subsystem, which is in turn integrated into the global ecosystem. Finally, we should develop special rules, norms, religious beliefs and values to drive our economic growth in a sustainable way. <laughs>